Hey go hype, welcome back to another video. Um so in this video I got a pretty cool one. Um I've never really experimented with extra chains and when I did, it wasn't with a chain tool, it was with a hammer and a nail. So first of all, I've got this chain tool one right here. Um a chain link. And I also got a chain. It's for this cruiser. And I'm going to be showing you a fully built video coming up pretty soon. So, first of all, I got this Walmart chain. Came on one of my Walmart bikes. Um, I took the chain off to put onto that bike, my wheelie bike. Um, but, let's get started. Um... Turn into this box. I've already opened it to see what I got. Caution. Extra care should be taken when maintaining a bicycle chain. Take your time and check your work and impromptly. What does that say? Impromptly? Mm, I don't know. Just anyways, let's check this out. There we go. Got the chain tool, heavy. All metal, nothing on its plastic. Even this little black pin that pushes out the pin um, is metal. And then got directions. This one on the inside. Master link. I'm not putting the master link on on this video. And some alcohol pads. Now, I'm going to look to see where they put the chain tool. Maybe the picture's on the back. Nope. I see. So I think it goes on this outside pin right here. And then the pin pushes it straight through. Let's hold it up like Okay. Now Next thing we do, now that we've got our tool in the right spot, take our chain, and well, that lines up really good. You can see right where that hole is, right there. There's a pin, and then if you look right there, that black pin, the way you put it on, it's right, I need to unscrew it a little bit more, right there. Just like that. Now, everything's right. I should just screw it in. Takes a little bit of force at the beginning, but I feel it coming out right now. And this is a full metal tool, so it should be pretty dang durable. There we go. I'll show you the pin that just popped out. There's the pin.
and it's probably reusable, but I don't know. Um, so this is what you get when you take apart your chain. A little washer. When it first came out, I thought it was a bearing. Um, two of the outside plates. Um, so basically these plates right here. I actually kind of like this tool. It's pretty nice. Um, hmm. I like it a lot. I've seen in one video little tiny rings of metal right there um, from the pin, but I don't see a single bit of metal sheared off of this pin. Hmm, it's pretty nice. I wonder if you can get that back on. Go like that. Sorry, I had to kill a spider in my garage. It's kind of... Once you get it on there... So, let me get this. If you kind of look at it from that way, there's little ridges, ridges on it. And that holds the little washer slash bearing type thing on and then put it on and Boy, this is gonna be hard. <sighs> well, um, I guess. These aren't meant to go back together how they took or took it apart, but that doesn't really matter since it is a cheap chain that got on a Walmart bike that I took apart for another bike anyways. So, I hope you guys like this video. Um, before I do the outro, I want to show you guys the chain I got over this weekend. I think it was on Saturdays when I got it. Um, bell chain. This also comes with a master link. So I guess I'll have two master links. Um, shows the tool I got. It's for a single speed or three speed. Pretty nice. I believe this was five buckaroonies. And the chain tool was like four buckaroonies, four buckaroonies, five or 55 cents. So the total of bike chain, bell seat, bell bike chain, and a tool this is um, seat I got. I don't need, and actually, that's a Schwinn seat. I thought it was a bell for sure. So, the total is 60 something bucks because I got, um, I'm pretty sure I got ODI grips coming in the mail. And it's for my cruiser bike. Um, while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my new bike. Well, my dad, um, it's new to me. Um, my dad gave it to me um, a couple days ago. 
There's an Iron Horse, 3.6, I believe 26 inch, yep, 26 inch, wheels and tires, um, cable disc brakes, bell seat, oh no, yeah, it's a bell memory foam seat. Um, Shimano shifter. And while we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and show you what my dad um, replaced this bike with. Boom. He got a smoking, smoking deal on this bike. This is a Moto Bikane Phantom 29 inch. Um, bike. Oh no. <laughs> this is like a $2,000 bike. And this one's a $1,000 bike, basically. Um. But he got a smoking deal on this. He was going, um, to dinner. And he stopped at a garage sale. And this was for 100 bucks. guy i guess that was selling it his knees weren't good enough to be riding bikes so yeah it's pretty nice it is a three speed in the front and a one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten speed in the rear it's like a full-on downhill race bike um cable disc brakes Pretty dang nice for a hundred bucks. And it's not no Walmart bike, it's a literal downhill race bike. Um, the design almost reminds me of a Diamondback, but that's just me. Um, there's my KHS. It's probably not good to have it upside down like that, hanging up, but oh well. It's an old bike, it's 1996. Um... So that's it for this video. Pretty sure it's one of my best, but um so that's it. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Stay tuned for the next video. Peace.